going on guys welcome back welcome back to another video hope all is well so you are a newbie you are a first time traveler you don't listen to all these passport bros videos and you want to travel to pataya how do you survive and i'm going to talk about that in this video how to survive guys please do me a favor before we get into this video please give us a like comment share and subscribe also hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops all of that will be greatly appreciated by me it's one thing yeah, i'm hearing a lot of people uh, respond to my videos and i'm triggering a lot of people but i promise you i will not go back and forth again on these videos i learned my lesson and i've learned my lesson from making videos in the past that going back and forth name dropping is not the thing to do here um, I can't lose focus on why I'm making these videos I'm making these videos for young travelers that want, want to travel to Pattaya Thailand or Bangkok or wherever you're going um, a lot of things haven't changed there's a few things that have changed technology technology in my opinion has made things a lot easier as opposed to traveling in the 90s and early 2000s you know with the um, you know the iPhone and stuff like that you have this is a very powerful tool to have so obviously you're gonna have your phone with you and um, <clears throat> you're going to um, have to download all the apps and stuff you need I don't need to go over that there's plenty of videos um, for you on what apps you need um, to survive in Thailand one of them is um, the grab app you know it's almost like um, uber eats here um, it is like uber eats uh, from my understanding I haven't used it but when I go there I'm gonna use it and um, it's very convenient you know if you're in your hotel you want to grab something quick to eat you just um, use that app but on this video I want to talk about a lot of things <clears throat> that these passport bros are not talking about some of them are talking about there's some great videos out there that I have watched and um, they're very informative um, but there's a lot of um, videos out there that's, that's pretty misleading and that was my whole position in the beginning like some of these videos are misleading and you know I was able even though I haven't been out there in a long time I was able to give some advice to someone and they were they recently went out there well not recently this was before no, this was before, um, you know, the vid, before the lockdowns and stuff. She went out there. My ex went out there. I gave her some um, advice, and she was able to have a really good time. Even though I haven't been out there in a while, she said everything you said was accurate. Everything, to the T. Everything was accurate. And um, <clears throat> so these videos, I know what I'm talking about. You're going to have some people that respond to me in a negative way because I'm triggering a lot of people. Especially when I say bring condoms. When I say wear a condom, bring condoms, I meant that. And that's going to trigger a lot of people because they're not doing that. But we're not worried about the people and what they're doing out there. <clears throat> if you're a young traveler, you're watching me for the first time to get some information. So, um, and then I mentioned some things about credit cards, how you need credit cards. I have these. I don't use cash. I use credit cards now obviously out there in countries like Southeast Asia um, cash is king you're gonna need to um, when you get to the airport you're gonna have to transfer your money into bots we know that but you still need credit cards just in case if something happens you need to have backup money on the backup money you have to and um, so I'm gonna give you some tips again on the credit cards uh, later on in this video but you're going to need these. Um, now, you're going to Pattaya. You're not going to Bangkok. So you're going to Swanapum Airport. When you get to the airport, that's I'm, I'm assuming if you're coming from the United States, you're going to end up in uh, Swanapum Airport. When you get there, as soon as you get there, you're going to go through customs or whatever you have to do. After that, you're gonna. the first thing you want to do is transfer your money. You're going to bring cash with you. I recommend bringing some cash with you. I think you could bring up to $10,000 on an airplane. I wouldn't recommend bringing that much money in cash. Um, just keep that on reserve, though. 
but you're gonna bring at least uh, $500 or whatever the case is in cash. So you can transfer that into bot when you get there. Cause for me, $500 would go just like that over there. Cause I like to shop and I'm gonna tr probably travel light because I'm gonna go over there and do some shopping. And probably I'm gonna have to send some stuff back home. That, that's how much shopping I do. And so I, my thing is bring plenty of money, but transfer your money at the airport. Now, I think you could go to your bank and also um, convert your money before you even get to the airport, but check with your bank. Um, the first thing you wanna do is with your credit cards and stuff, you wanna call your credit card companies call your bank just to let them know the dates that you're going to be um, overseas you got to do that because I had ran into a situation one time when I went to use my credit card it got locked and it was simple though I just had to call the credit card company and say yes I'm, I'm really um, out of the country and then they unlock the credit card it's just a safety feature that um, the credit card companies have but just make sure you call your bank the credit card companies and then everything will be fine. That's the, that this is stuff that you have to do before you even get there. Also, if you're gonna be there longer than 30 days, you're probably gonna want a visa. So you're gonna have to get that straight now before you get there. Um, but for me, if you're like me, you're like a weekend warrior, you're not gonna spend longer than two weeks there. You don't need it, you don't need it. Um, because you're gonna be out of the country anyway before your stay expires. So you don't have to worry about getting a visa unless you want to extend your stay. If you want to extend your stay, I know you got some people that do border runs. You could take a quick trip um, over the border um, for 24 hours and then come back. I'm not trying to do that. So I'm only, me, I'm only staying there for two to no longer than three weeks. I'm staying there no longer than three weeks, but um, probably two weeks. Um, so I'm a weekend warrior. Um, my stay is going to be a little different. And so it's going to be a little different compared to people that live there. This advice is for the weekend warriors. You come in there just for a quick trip and you want to have a good time. Listen to this video. All right. So the main thing is transfer your money. And when you transfer your money, you're probably going to want to get a SIM card for your phone. You're going to want to get a SIM card and you can get that at the airport. Um, Cause that's what she did. She got a SIM card at the airport. Yeah, you get a SIM card at the airport and you're going to need that if you want to get online, if you want to download the line app, I know they use line. I have line on my phone and I talk to people through online. I mean, through the app line. So you're going to use that. Um, I don't think a lot of people use WhatsApp there, but you're going to use line if you want to meet people and get their line and stuff like that. Um, be careful with the dating apps like Thai friendly and stuff like that. Be careful. Um, it's okay to meet people on there, but just be careful or whatever. And if they start propositioning you on those apps, then you already know what time it is. It's all about business. So just make sure you be careful like that because in Colombia and different places, people are getting caught up on that Tinder app and getting deleted. So if you're gonna meet somebody, make sure you meet them at a public location and uh, make sure that nobody is with them and stuff like that, like being followed and stuff so you get set up. So just you, just use that app with caution, like Tinder and Thai Friendly. Make sure you use it with caution. And um, when you meet people, you got to use your best judgment and um, you got you to gotta be a person that don't leave your common sense. At the airport, I'm seeing a lot of brothers leaving their common sense at the airport. They're just leaving their common sense there. Like they don't have any common sense. Don't leave your common sense at the airport. As you see in back, I mean, it's the red light district. This is a famous red light district. I mean, y'all know what this is back here is Soy 6. We'll get into that in a second on how to survive on Soy 6 as a newbie. So yeah, you got your money and you got your um, SIM card. Now you want to know how to get to Pattaya. There's a, a couple of ways you can get to Pattaya. Um, you go through a luxury bus. Um, I prefer a private driver, like a cab. That's what I prefer. And you go all the way down, and you're gonna you're gonna go all the way down. I think it's to the first floor, a ground level, and you're gonna grab a ticket. You're gonna see where it says the cabs and stuff, and you're gonna be able to grab a ticket. 
because that's what she said she did the last time. She grabbed the ticket because she told me the advice I gave her was to a T. So she grabbed the ticket. She didn't go to Pattaya. She stayed in Bangkok. But and from there, she went to our hotel. But um, you're going to grab a ticket and it's going to tell you which line to stay in. And, um, and then you're going to go ahead and get your cab. You're going to negotiate, like let them know where you're going. He'll give you a fee or whatever. It's not no more than $40 from my understanding. For, not, it's under $50. Um, it's like 40 some dollars or whatever. And to get to Pattaya, it's like a two hour drive. I, almost, I'm, I'm imagining about two hours. Because when I took the drive, it was about two hours. So when you get there, you can go straight to your hotel. Now, if you want to stay in the Airbnb, that's up to you. I think for first time travelers, you want to stay in a hotel, you know, um, they take their IDs. I don't know if they still take their IDs though. Somebody let me know. When I stayed at a hotel, they took, if you have company coming back to your room, they take their IDs. I don't know if they still do it. And I don't know when they leave, they collect their ID, they give you a call. I'm not sure if they still do that, but, um, I guess that's not really a big deal. Like, um, if you, uh, stay at a hotel or Airbnb. I don't like Airbnbs. Um, I just don't. But um, I think this time I'm just going to rent a condo. I'm going to rent a condo and I'm going to do it through a major website. I'm not going to do it through these like Facebook websites. I, I wouldn't recommend that. Do it through a reputable website, a reputable travel website to book your uh, stay. That's what I, I recommend as a newbie do that go you might you might spend a little bit more money but you're not going to get scammed all right so you got your stay out the way so when you get there you're probably going to want to go like a 7-eleven or something to get some toiletries or whatever or get some um things for the room like some drinks and you know something to snack on and stuff like that like i said they got the grab app so you'll be able to use that to order it's just like uber eats um <clears throat> So you got all that out the way. You got everything for your hotel. Depending on when you land, I like to get some rest the first day. Uh, me personally, I'm just going to let you know my routine. I like to get some rest the first day and then, you know, just hang out in the hotel, find me some cigars and maybe go to the rooftop of the hotel and just hang out like that after I have my shower and eat a little bit. I like to eat in the hotel or maybe I'll grab something, um, have something delivered. The next day, I like to do some shopping. So I like to go go to the exchange place again, bring them some money, and then get me some more bots so I can go do some shopping. Um, I like to go to the malls, um, and I also like to go out um, in the streets to shop. You know, you get a lot of cheap stuff like that. And um, so you can negotiate at a lot of these places. You're not gonna get the same price the locals get, right? I'm talking about the the, the, the Thais, you, the, uh, people from Thailand. You're not going to get the same price as a native. Now, if you want, if you meet a native, maybe she can negotiate a price for you, but um, you're just not going to get the same price. You're going to get the gringo price or the farang price. You, you understand what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. But if it's a good price to you, then buy it. You know, um, another thing I want to say, you want to be respectful be respectful don't don't take this american arrogance as i see like you're better than everybody because you're not first of all um so keep that in mind respect goes a long way it'll keep you it'll keep you safe but don't leave like i said your common sense stays with you as well so i'm gonna be shopping and stuff like that and then we're gonna talk about now like my next thing is i like to go to the beaches and stuff and then um, the nightlife. Now I'm ready to go to the nightlife. So how do you survive in the nightlife? You probably, if you're in Pattaya, you're probably going to wind up on um, Soy 6. You're going to wind up on um, Walking Street. You're going to wind up in some of these clubs and the go-go's and stuff like that. Now, let's, let's get to Soy 6 for a minute. Soy 6 is the big, like it's a red light district. You know, it's in back of me. And, um, 
you're going to see a lot of things like, damn, what does that mean? What does this mean? You ever see the thing where the girl go in circles with, with the drink and then make a circle with the with the beer on the ground? You're like, what the hell are they doing? That means she was the first one to get bar fine that day. Um, no, excuse me. She was the first one to get, uh, like, you know, either short stay, long term, like short stay. Um, she was the first one to get a customer that day, if you know what I mean. That's what that means. Yeah, that's what that means. I know that seemed kind of small, but yeah, but if you ever see that, that's what that means. And let me just say this. When you're going down Walking Street, they, if they, they know if they haven't seen you before. And there's a rating system. Now, some people are going to say, well, um, women got rating systems all over the world. I know that. I'm talking specifically about Walking Street. You understand what I'm saying to you? Um, I'm talking specifically. Let me just repeat it three times. I'm talking specifically about um, uh, Soy 6. I'm talking specifically about Soy 6. I am talking specifically about Soy 6. Now, watch this. People are still common and say, well, they got rating systems all over the world, Max. I know that, but I'm talking about Soy 6 because a lot of guys don't know this. And I hear one guy saying that the girls are stuck up out there and they turn turning men down. There's a reason for it. There's a reason for it. I told you they had a rating system. Everybody's not going to bar fine with you. Okay, so don't go out there and thinking that you can get anybody you want and everybody's going to bar fine unless you are number one catch. Now, if you're a number one catch, if you fall into their category as a, um, a top one, oh yeah, you probably can get your pick of the litter here. However, if you fall on low on the totem pole for them, um, you're gonna you might not get you might not get what you want all the time. That just goes without saying. Just because you think you got a lot of money in your pocket, um, but you look like who, what, done and did it, and you just don't take, you look like you ain't had a shower since Moses uh, built the ark or since um, uh, Jesus parted the Red Sea. You see what I'm saying? You're going to have a problem. You, and there was the one guy that was just telling a story he used to be a manager. He he has a YouTube page. I follow him. He used to be a manager at one of the bars on Soy Six. I, he was a manager at a couple a couple of the bars. He worked for a company, and he said that this guy took this girl for a short time upstairs, right? And he came back down complaining because she wouldn't give him a mic check. If you know what I mean, I have to talk in code because she wouldn't give him a mic check. And he said that he he understood why she don't want to give him a mic check because he smelt like he smelt like sewer on a hot Sunday afternoon in New York City. Okay, and he was big as all outdoors. On top of just because you're a big person, don't mean you got to stink. But he smelt like a sewer on a Sunday after hot June, hot July Sunday afternoon in New York City, man. Okay, and he's sitting up there wanting to know why, and he didn't take no shower or nothing, and he he wouldn't want to know why she was complaining. And then she came back downstairs, and he wanted his money back, and he wasn't getting his money back. Uh, uh-uh. no, 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 he's not getting his money back. Okay, and then he said it was another guy that was complaining that he was spending all these money, all this money buying lady drinks. I'll I'll, I'll get into what lady drinks is in a second. And let me just say this real quick for the people. I'm talking to people that's never been there and young travelers. So if you know all of this, I don't want to hear you because I'm going to start blocking people. I'm just letting you know that. I don't have time for all this stuff, right? And I'm getting myself out of this like drama stuff that's going on in Thailand. I'm going to talk about that too. So understand when I'm saying this, this is not for you. If you've been there or you live there, okay, this is not for you. And a lot of the people I notice that are getting on me, that say they live there, they probably as big as all outdoors. They probably don't know how to bathe and all this type of stuff. The people that's talking, you probably don't. 
okay? Um, you probably haven't showered by the grace of God since Moses built the ark, man. So just leave me alone. That's, that's just what I want to say. This is for young travelers, not for you. All right, so he wanted to get his money back, and he was not getting his money back, yo. He was not getting his money back. And I can even tell you a story when I was out there. A guy was complaining that he bought all these lady drinks. He was like, I'm talking about, he was being Big Willie, yo. He was buying everybody. He even bought me a drink, yo, when I was in there. He bought me a drink. He bought everybody in the bar drinks. So I'm like, I'm going to take the drink because, you know, he trying to be, he trying to impress or whatever. So he bought everybody drinks in the bar. And next thing you know, he like, you know, it's getting late. I want to bar find you. And he... He said he wanted to bar find her for long term. You see what I'm saying? Not short stay. He wanted her to stay overnight. And she was like, I got a boyfriend. I got a boyfriend. I can't do it. I got a boyfriend. I can't do it. After he done bought all these lady drinks, man. After they done rung the bell and because he want to be Big Willie and buy everybody in the drink bars. I mean, draw, buy everybody in the bar a drink, playing Big Willie, okay, playing Big Willie style, and she talking about she can't go because she got a boyfriend, man. And he's American, and I'm sitting there laughing, and I and I probably shouldn't have been laughing, you know what I'm saying? Like because I don't believe in laughing at people like that when that's happening, but I'm sitting there laughing, you know what I'm saying? At the time, I used to have locks. My locks was like literally, um, during that time, this was about 10 years ago, I had locks all the way, like Damian Marley, I had them to my kneecaps. So I had my, my locks was like hanging and I'm just sitting there laughing. I'm like, had my hand like this and I'm laughing. And um, he was mad because he don't spend, I don't know how much money he spent, but he was just like, boom, he was just spending bots like it was crazy. Boom, 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 boom. She talking about she got a boyfriend, man. A lot of them do have boyfriends. A lot of them do. Um, a lot of them have boyfriends, and they not gonna bar find with you, cause he was down. He was low on the totem pole. He didn't know it. He didn't know that they had a rating system. Now, let me get into this rating system again. Again, I want to say this again. This is for new travelers that's going to Pattaya. This is for new travelers that's going to Pattaya or Thailand. Pattaya, Thailand. This is new travels that's going to Pattaya, Thailand. Not for you. I don't want to hear that they got rating systems all over the world. We know that. I'm talking specifically about Pattaya. When you go down Walking Street, I'm just letting, I mean, not um, Soy 6. As soon as you turn on Soy 6, it's getting ready to get started. I'm just letting you know this. As soon as you turn on Soy 6, you're going to see something you ain't never seen before. If you've never been there and never witnessed it, you are going to be wide open, yo. Your, your nose is going to be wide open. You hear what I'm saying to you? There's going to be beautiful women all over the place. You're going to be like, what is going on? But when you're going down that street, they're watching you. And sometimes they'll check to see anybody coming down the street. They, you're going to have all eyes on you. Okay? I'm just letting you know this. And if you check off all their boxes, you are... You are catch number one, okay? You know how they got US one or Air Force one? You know when the president get in the limousine is um, US something one, or when he get on the the, the he get on a uh, helicopter, it's called Marine one, and obviously the, that's the call sign when the president is on. When he get on air, when he get on the plane, now the call sign turns into Air Force one. Listen. You are catch number one. When you're walking down that street and you check off all the boxes, even though they still got to talk to you, but if you check off all the boxes and they looking at you, you are going to get harassed. And let me tell you something. In each bar, they have a superstar. Now, what do I mean by that? Each bar out of all the women they got a superstar. The superstar is the one that get the most lady drinks and she get the most bar fines. She makes money. And I think they pay the girls if, if maybe things are changed. They, they pay them at the end of the month 
and the girls compare tickets. They compare who don't made the most money. Okay, she made the most money. So guess what happens? When a catch, when a catch number one comes down that street, guess who gets first dibs at him? She does. You didn't know that, did you? She gets first dibs at him. You don't know this. This is, um, they, they have a whole system amongst themselves that you don't even know about. If she's in that bar, that's only if she's in the bar. If she's around and she's not dealing with another customer. Because she could be dealing with another customer. Um, she's not going to deal with you, you know, whoever gets you next. But she gets priority. She'll be the one to get, get at you first. And then she'll start talking to you just to reconfirm if you're the catch. Trust me, they, they got their whole thing that they look at. Man, they look at your clothes you got on. They can tell, they can tell if you got some type of, um, if you're successful or something like that. It's like they almost can tell, man. And if you speak Thai, listen to me. I know this sounds crazy. If you speak Thai, you go low on the totem pole. <sighs> yeah, I, I know you're thinking, oh, you, you're trying to impress them and all that, right? Nah, yo. Nah, you go... They, 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 you go down the rating, man. If you, if you, if they have never seen you before and you check off all the boxes, yeah, you're going to get harassed, man. You, you're number one and you don't know it. You just got drafted and you don't know it. And you, you won't have a problem bar finding nobody. You won't have a problem, man. Unless she really do have somebody, a boyfriend she's staying with, or she really, if her boyfriend in the bar or nearby she, she might not but trust me you you're gonna get your share of bar fines man and uh, i'm just letting you know that and how do they know like i said if you don't speak thai you're fresh they can tell if you're fresh if you've never been there before or if they've never seen you before and you're like oh who is this and trust me they know that you're new okay you might and, and this is what you're gonna say right you know, people tell you, if she say, how long you, how long you going to be here? And you say, well, you lie to them and say, well, I'm going to be here for, I live here, whatever. They know you don't live there. They know. And they know that you're fresh off the plane, yo, because you ain't got no tan. They can tell. Unless you have, unless you highly, got a highly concentration of melanin and you, you they can't tell if you got a tan. That's different. But. For a fair-skinned person, guy, they know if you are fresh off the plane because you ain't got no tan, man. I'm just telling you this. This is what they... They have a whole system on rating people. Okay? And like I said again, I'm just speaking for Thailand. Okay? I know they got rating systems everywhere. Now, people that's going to watch this, people that get offended in the comments, they're, they're not catch number one. They're not catch number one, man. They're not catch number one. And this transcends color. This transcends race, yo. If you are a catch, they're going to know. It, but they got to talk to you as well. They have to talk to you. But, um... So, you don't want to be flashy. Another thing, you don't want to be flashy. Don't wear no gold. Don't wear no diamonds and none of that. You want to... Don't, don't be flashy. Okay? It's okay to if you like to dress and all that. But just be a, be aware they're watching you. So you got all this stuff on and you pretty dip from head to toe. They're watching that. But now they got to talk to you. And I'm telling you, the superstar is going to get at you first. Because they, they, they watch you when you're walking down the street. They're like hawking. They're watching you. And when you go from one bar to another, here you go. You're just so green to the game. You're just smiling and you're just walking from bar to bar. And their eyes are just like this. And they're scanning you. And the next time you come down that street, there he go again. Now we're going to try to get at him. And if you notice, like if one woman can't get at you, another one will try to pull on you. She'll try to get at you. But they're watching you way down the street. They can see you. And um, I know this sounds trivial and all this stuff, but this is really how it works. And uh, like I said, the superstar will get at you. If she's not busy, she'll get at you and whatnot. And then she'll talk to you. And if she don't get a good vibe from you, then you, you go back down the totem pole. 
you see what I'm saying? You go back down the rating system and she don't get a good vibe with you, man. And then they'll start getting on the phones, texting each other. Boop, 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 boop. They'll start, they'll start texting each other like, watch out for this one. Watch out for this one. And not everybody's gonna bar find you. If they especially they feel like something is wrong, they don't have to bar, they don't have to go with you. And let me tell you another thing. There's some women there that don't bar find. Okay, they don't. They don't go out of the bar. And usually those are the ones that super green. Some of them that they just started working. They're super green. They can't really speak too much um, conversational English. And they're just not comfortable yet. Right? They're rookies. Um, Some of them will bar fine because obviously they got to get their feet wet. Some do bar fine and some will not bar fine with you. And then you got some that work there that just don't bar fine at all. Okay? Unless you a catch. (laughs) <laughs> unless you the catch unless you the catch and um i've heard somebody say that oh the women are stuck up there and and all this type of stuff and they blame a certain people for it no blame yourself yo that means you're not you're not catch number one you're not catch number one man and i'm just telling you i'm not bragging or nothing like that i didn't have no problems bar fine i had no problems whatsoever man but even though i didn't do it <clears throat> Um, regularly, because when I did bar find, that's my homegirl. We, I still talk to her to this day and, um, she wound up, um, moving to the United States and whatnot. And then another one, her dad lived in the United States. She lives in Connecticut now. And they taught me the game. That's how I know this. And it hasn't changed. And, um, I just recently got in contact with, um, my friend because it was one of my friends she had got married and moved to Maryland and then they moved to um, Brooklyn Brooklyn New York I haven't talked to her in a long time I just recently got in contact with her we had a little brief conversation and whatnot on Instagram because I found her on Instagram I typed her name and I just kept looking I found her and um, she's like hey what's up a long time and we she's still married they uh, separated but they still married, but I think they may get back together. I'm not sure, but she still lives in Brooklyn and she's still, she's a vet. She's still working. Um, um, she like working with animals. She's a veterinarian, not a veterinarian, but she's like a nurse, whatever you call it. So I talked to her. So the game is still the same. I told her I'm making these videos. So she watching and, um, the game is still the same with the rating system, man. So, so if you are catch number one, you're going to get harassed. You, they'll probably ask you if you want to take them out. It, that's how crazy it gets because they want, they, the girls just, they want you as their customer. They don't want nobody. They don't want you to have nobody else. They're going to try to, they're going to try to take you and have you for the rest of your whole trip, yo. I'm telling you, if you, if you really that catch to them, um, some people don't know what that means because they're not a catch. They're socially awkward. Um, they haven't had a bath. They don't like taking baths. They're, when they get in the baths, they're like, um, they're like trolls. Or no, excuse me. They're like, um, Ewoks. They're like gremlins. You know, the water hit them. They go, oh. they don't know what to do when water hit them. You know what I'm saying? So they, they, they got the funk. They got the funk master flex funk. You know what I'm saying? In their armpits. And talking about that. Why they ain't, they, why ain't they, why ain't they no catch? So. If, like I said, if you when you, you're the type when you hit water, you cringe when you hit water. Yeah, you're not a catch, man. You're just not. You, I don't care if them women need money or whatever. They don't want to be sitting up there with somebody that they got. They got civil rights funk. They got funk dating back to civil rights. They don't want to. They don't want to sleep with you, man. Okay. Sometimes there's some that if they desperate enough, they'll have to do it, but they, they don't, they, you're not a catch, man. I'm just letting you know that, man. I'm just letting you know that. And, but if you are a catch and you happen to bar find them and y'all hanging out and all that stuff, trust me, you are her customer now. I'm just letting you know this. And that's another thing I want to tell you. If she got her clenches on you and you're like, okay, um, thank you for the nice time and all that stuff. And now you want to go back to soy sex. If she's out there 
she's watching you. And you up there got another woman and all that on your arm, she gonna be pissed, man, because that you are you are her customer. She marked you. She marked you as her customer. Especially if you go back in her bar and now you try to holler at her friend, her own girl now. No, nah, that's not happening. You're gonna run into a situation. So you don't want to do that. You're gonna run into a situation, but you gotta let it be known that you you for you for you. You know how you guys like to say she for the soy? You gotta let it be known you for the soy. Okay? Men could be for the soy too. You you have to let it be known that you're for the soy. And then she'll understand. You know what I'm saying? Um so she won't be mad if you in there trying to holler, but they, they don't like that because they don't like to lose face. It's all about saving, uh, keeping saving face there. Now, if you sat there, you don't know, loved up all on her and pillow talking and, and saying how you're going to take her to the States and all this type of stuff. And you go back in the bar and then you hollering at, then you hollering at somebody else. She's going to be pissed. I'm just like, you might, you might run into a situation. So don't do it. Just go to another bar. You know what I'm saying? Go somewhere else. But because she got other customers she deal with, trust me. But I'm just telling you, if she, if you are a catch and she wants you, she wants you. So just be mindful of that. And uh, some people are going to get offended by this because they know they ain't no damn catch. I'm just letting you know that you know you're not number one. And But I'm but the, the guys know if they're number one or not. And they, they don't know. They're not stupid. You see, a lot of people think these girls are stupid. Like this one guy said, he, he thinking that the women are supposed to be choosing him. He, he just really don't know. He, somebody lied to him about how it is out there. Somebody lied to him. And these Generation Z women, they think differently. And they're just not going to go with anybody just about. They will act stuck up. Like I heard somebody say. But well, they Generation Z, man. The oldest of Generation Z is like 26. They're, they're, they think totally differently than any than the other generation. So obviously some things are going to change. Um, So we got that rating system out the way. Like I said, when they go out in front of the bar, they do this whole circle with the drink. She was the first one to get bar fine that day. If y'all didn't know, now you know. Um... Be respectful, even when you're on Soy 6. Don't have that arrogance like, I'm, I'm better than everybody and all that. Nah, man. Um, be respectful. And, yeah, be respectful. And you should be fine. And if they, if they're, the bar fine is not is non-negotiable, if that's what you're going to do, that's non-negotiable. Now she you, she might have a price. I, I would say that's non-negotiable as well. Because if you're the type where she she quote a price and you'd be like, no, my God, that's too much. Then then go back home, man. Go back home, man. Like what do you expect? You know, but some guys they want to sit there and nickel and dime. You know what I'm saying? Um, if that's the type, just going back to your hotel, man, or going somewhere else to another bar. Like don't argue about that. Um. Be respectful, though. I'm just telling you, be respectful. Don't go out there and get into no arguments and all that because they all stick together out there. So you got to be careful. But other than that, you have a good time. And don't get drunk. And yeah, like that. Don't get drunk. You want to keep your wits about you. But you're going to go come to a place where you just going to be, you just going to, you ain't going to know what hits you. It's just, it's just, it's just crazy. It's like paradise almost. You ain't gonna know what hit you, but you can find drama in paradise. Let me tell you. All right, so you got you going to the clubs and stuff like that. And sometime after that, you want to go to Walking Street, go to some of the clubs and stuff. Um, you know, just keep your wits about you like that and stuff like that. Um, don't hang with the crews and stuff. Like if you see a group of guys, don't hang with them. You know, just do it dolo. If you find a, fe- you know, you hang with a female company, then that's good. But I recommend don't get with the clicks because you don't know what these guys are into. So just, you know, keep it moving like that. If there's some trouble in the club, just keep it moving. Go on to another club or go home. Go back to your hotel. But um, bring plenty of money just in case if something happens. 
you know, bring plenty of money. Like I told you, I went not lying when I said I'm going to be bringing plenty of bots just in case. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know. I might have to catch a plane somewhere else. Go to another part of the, 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 the island. Um, it is this, it's relatively cheap. It's like 50 some dollars, really. You know, so you could do that. Um, there's a lot of touristy things to do. Um, just don't fall into them touristy traps. Like when you get to like, like the Buddha statue and all that stuff, you're going to have people, um, trying to scam you. It, you, you might have that, but don't. You know, just pay the official person. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't listen to too many people. They're like, oh, you can't do this. Let me let me do it for you. Nah, just go up to the, the ticket thing and pay them. And don't be studying about what other people are talking about. You know, you can get away with wearing a shirt like this. You know what I'm saying? Got your, um, you wearing a shirt like this. I know the women got to be covered. You can get away with wearing a, a t-shirt. I mean, you're going into the... the um, Buddha statue, I believe, and not well going into the um, the temples. That's what I'm talking about. Going to the temples and stuff where the monks are and stuff. I've done that plenty of times. And I remember um, my friend I was with; she had to cover up. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for right now. But my main thing is, don't hang with no clicks. You know what I'm saying? Don't be hanging where the bunch of the cliques hang out at either. Don't do it. I, I recommend don't. I, that's just me. Because you don't know what they're into, man. I'm not coming 8,000 miles to feel like, you know, I'm home and shit. I, wanna, I want to I wanna get out there and just travel, man, and live my life. I'm not trying to go out there and get clicked up. I'm not trying to do that. Don't do it. What else? What else do I have? Um, yeah, make sure you got plenty of money just in case something happens. Because, um, you know, like I said, man, you probably going to want to shop. Because, like me, I like shopping. And I'm trying to go find where the fake uh, the fake Jordans are. I'm, You know, the uh, AAA quality Jordans. I want to see if I can finally connect out there. But anyway, that's just for another story. Um... Yeah, that's another story. Like, I just want to finally connect um, and do a lot of shopping. That's what I like to do. Do a lot of shopping and, um, yeah. Like I said, don't get drunk. If you're at the bars, don't leave your drink unattended. Take it with you. Take, if you got to go to the bathroom, take it with you or finish it, then go to the bathroom. Um, if not, get another drink. If somebody puts something in your drink or slip something, then it's a problem. You, you, you know, you usually had those problems up in uh, Columbia and stuff. I've been hearing that a lot. But just be careful, though. And uh, don't go to no sketchy places and all that. If you meet somebody nice, you want to barf on them, and then she want to show you around and stuff like that, make sure you bless her for doing it. Don't be nickel and diamond and shit. Like for me, I like to bless people. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you don't show me around. You know what I'm saying? You talk, you know, I had a translator and all that stuff. I felt comfortable. I'm a blesser at the end. She get blessed. You know what I'm saying? Because I got more bots than Chris Kringle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You know, I'm just kidding. Like, just, just call me Santa Claus. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, because I'm, I'm, I believe in, I believe in blessing people. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't going to have a problem when I'm out there. If I meet somebody, I'm like, look, show me around. You know, negotiate prices for me when I'm shopping. You know, um, do different things like that. She gonna be blessed by the time I'm like, boom, here you go. You know what I'm saying? So, that's how I do it. I'm not a cheapskate. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, you know, bless people. Like, she she took care of me, I'm gonna take care of her. You know what I'm saying? You might have some guys that might say, oh, you trick it and stuff like that. Because they ain't got it, man. They ain't got it. I do what I want to do with my money. So, if she took me around, made sure she translated for me, um, we don't went all over Thailand because that's what I'm going to do. You know, we, we went all over Thailand. I'm talking about from Bangkok to Phuket. 
I'm trying to get there and go get. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm trying. I don't like to stay in one spot for too long. So I'm all over the. I'm like, baby, can you take me? Go, we go all over the place. I got you. You see what I'm saying? I got you. And trust me, I'm gonna bless you for this. So, like, you know, everywhere it's like, yo, I'm, let's go to Phuket. Let's go to uh, James Bond Island. I don't know where to go, but I want to go. I want to go to places I haven't gone yet. I want to, you know, do the touristy stuff. I'm not trying to get on no elephants, though. My big ass can't get on no elephant. But you know what I'm saying? I'm not getting on no elephant. Uh, what else I'm not doing? I don't like messing with them. You know, this is one statue, Buddha statue with them. Them stairs is off the hook. I need an elevator, yo. Them stairs, I know, um, what's his name went up them stairs, yo? What's his name? Game of game abroad, yo. He went up these stairs, yo. Uh, uh, fam. I know them stairs you talking about. No sir, I gotta have an elevator, fam. They gotta have an escalator for me, and not I'm not going up there. Them stairs is too steep. But if I'm in shape, though, you know what I'm saying. It is what it is. But um, yeah, find me an escalator or something. And they got them wild monkeys around too. I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Been on hot throwing me and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But um, <clears throat> I wouldn't do all of that. I want to go everywhere. I want her to show me the tradition, you know, do the praying and stuff. Because I've done it before. I've done it before. So I want to do all of that. Might have to go to that shoot over to that other island that uh, Game Abroad just went to. I want to shoot. I want to do everything. So if I find somebody that's cool... And that's willing to do all that for me, cook for all that. Yeah, she getting blessed, man. She getting blessed, man. And and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. So, cause that's that's almost like having a travel companion. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that this and she speak the language. And also if she speak English, if I can communicate with her, oh that's yeah. That's what I'm looking for. So and um, I'm going to make, oh, and another thing I want to do, I want to make content. I want to make content, so, because I want to turn it into a business trip. So she helped me with that, then that'll be more the better. So that's what I'm looking, that's what I'm looking for. If I find somebody to help me with finance, help me, uh, not finance, help me um, make content and stuff like that. That's pretty much it, man. I just went into, like, the stuff I'm going to do, but, um. So, yeah, man. Just to wrap up, um, a recap. So when you get to the airport, Swanapum Airport, uh, change your money over, customs, get a SIM card. I prefer taking a cab over there because after I don't been on that plane, I don't want to be around nobody. I just want to be to just relax in the car, take a nap, stuff like that. And two hours later, I'm at, I'm at my hotel. Then from there, check in the hotel, relax, get you a shower. And get stuff for the whole get stuff for the hotel that's cool. Change over some more money. And I'm relaxing, like, you know, but I, like I said, when you get to Soy Six, they're watching you, so I already talked about why they're watching you. So that's pretty much it, folks. I think I don't covered everything. Um, guys, this will be a I think I'll make more parses because I know I left some stuff out. I will catch you on the next one. Please subscribe. Please uh, hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops. And what else? Give us a like. All that would be greatly appreciated. Guys, I'll see you in the next one. Deuces. Thanks for watching, guys. But before you go, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops. If you have any video ideas, feel free to leave a comment below. Take care.